Hey guys, I know it's been a while, but I'm back. This time I'm making a new series. It'll be upgrading this Mac Pro, making it ultimate. So let's get into it. So this Mac Pro right here, this is a dual CPU Trey Mac Pro. It's the 24 gigabytes of RAM. It's a 5.1 2010. And it has currently, it's it has a RX 570 HEB, 24 gigs of RAM, like I just said, and two Intel Xeon E5620s, I believe. Um, yeah. And, oh, yeah, yeah. And I will be upgrading this. The first upgrade I'll do is the RAM. I bought 128 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM right here. We unboxing them, and I'll show you. And I'll upgrade it. So let's first get to opening it. I don't really have scissors right now, so I'm just gonna use a pen. So it's very hard to open one-handed. So here we go. Got it open. Okay. I didn't damage any of the RAM. Here's the eight, eight uh, slots of 16 DDR3. Yeah, so eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This all totals to 120 gigabytes of RAM. So now let's open up the Mac Pro. Take off the lid. And then. There's the 570. And let's, okay, wait. Just, yeah, it's okay. Pick up the CPU. Okay, here is the CPU tray. Haven't upgraded the CPUs at all. At all, the first upgrade is this RAM here. So let us take out the old RAM. So here's, these are the old sticks right here. Oh, these are the old sticks right here. So it'll focus. Yep, there you go. Old sticks. So, don't need these anymore. Take them out. Just put them to the side over here. And we'll do the same with the other side. They just pop out like really easily. So, okay, and there you go. There's the uh, old RAM out. Now let's put the new RAM. So, let's start with this, these, make sure they're all coming out. All out. So let's open each one of these sticks. So, there you go. Here's the first one. Which, yeah, we can see. Will focus, yeah. 16 gigabytes DDR3 1033 megahertz. So, this thing, there you go. Okay, it's not in completely. So, there you go. There's this first stick of RAM, second one right here. I get that in correctly. Just making sure I don't want to break this thing. Okay. There's the second stick. So yeah, there's a third stick. So yeah, my goal for this Mac Pro is to be uh, a good enough video editing and gaming device for occasional occasional like gaming maybe like some heavy gaming at times and but yeah so i was thinking of either putting a radeon 7 or a 6800 but the problem with that is that the radeon 7 is pretty old it's like what uh, about five four or five years old and it's very hard to find those in good condition while and it can run Sonoma and hopefully later the Sequoia update. So, yeah, that's that's why I wanted to go for a Radeon 7. But it also need Pixlast mod, which I don't mind doing. 
yeah, I don't mind doing the Pixel Spot, but I don't. It's not as good as the sixty eight hundred RX sixty eight hundred because yeah, the performance is way better on the sixty eight hundred. But the sixty eight hundred can only run up to Monterey because uh, Open Core Legacy Patcher does not support the um, sixty eight hundred series on Ventura or Sonoma, which. For me, that's kind of a deal breaker because I do use some apps that work on uh, Ventura and Sonoma, and they don't work on Monterey, but that's fine. I don't; those apps aren't really a big issue. Just the problem is security updates, and yeah, just security updates is the real main concern because, like, we're, right now we're basically on Mac OS fourteen. And the, later in the fall, we'll be in Mac OS 15. And who knows how long Apple's going to st still keep supporting Sonoma, uh, no, Monterey. So, yeah. That's why I'm a little hesitant on moving to a 6800. But I'll let, it, I'll let you guys decide. So put in the comments what you think I should get. Which graphics card I should get. And for our last stick of DDR3 here. There we go. So yeah, that's our first upgrade. Make sure all the RAM's in. It's perfect. 128 gigabytes of RAM. Now let's see if Mac, the Mac detects it. I'll be back. I'll hook, I'll hook this all up and I'll be back. So I've got the Mac Pro hooked up. Let's see if it boots. Okay, so. Sorry, but so my my desk is a little bit messy, and that that one especially. But yeah, Let's see. There it is. There's a chime. I know the Mac Pro takes a while. It's a five comma one. Takes a really long time to boot up for some reason. There's the Apple logo. Let's take a check. Okay, and there we go. So now let me log in real quick. Okay, so I'm logging in. Okay, now let's see. About this Mac. Let's see? Oh, and for some reason it only takes 112 gigabytes. Hmm. That is interesting. <laughs> Why it's only detecting 112 and it's 1666, which is not right either because I did not put, I chose, what, 1333. This is interesting. Let me just do a quick PRAM reset. So let's restart this here. There you go. PRM reset. So now, now let's try this again. Okay, booting into Sonoma. This should hopefully make it detect the correct amount of RAM now. Again. Okay, only getting 112 gigabytes of readable read of RAM, which 
it is interesting because I this is there's most definitely not only one twelve. Okay, so it says so it says slot number six is empty, which hmm. And it's only reading one sixteen sixty six. Interesting, but that's fine. I don't mind that. I just want the one twenty eight gigabytes. So let's just shut this. Let's just shut this down. We'll fix this again. So instead of just pulling it out, I'll just do it right here. So let's take out the lady. So yeah, there's a problem with one of the slots. is a bit annoying. Let's do this. Ah, uh, yeah. That's why. Didn't plug it in properly. Okay. So, so we're seeing what RAM slot number six this one right here is not plugged in properly. So let's take this out. Let's put this back in. So now we should see if we hit, if we hit the clip. So let's try again. We just Now let's, oh. let's flush. Now let's boot it up this time. Let's see if there's any problems. Anything wrong? Because I know this slot six was definitely detecting. The, the RAM, the 24, the four gigabyte sticks. So now let's see if it detects this 16. Okay. Take a look at that one. There you go, 128 gigabytes, 16. Oh, this is, I put 30, 1333 megahertz, but now at least it's detecting 128, which is good. So that should wrap it up. This is the Mac Pro. Uh, this is the end of part one. We'll, we'll see you guys in part two. Peace out.